Guys, welcome back to Lab Cyber. And first of all, let me apologize for the poor lightning in this video. I'm actually making this video in my hotel room here in Bangkok, so I do apologize. Do bear with me. But I do have some very spicy and very interesting stuff to talk about in today's video. Let me ask you a question. What would you normally need to do in order for your mobile device to get infected with malware? Now, you might answer and say things like, well, you know, you would need to visit some shady website, uh, maybe download and install a form of malware on your phone, maybe click on a phishing link. Like normally, you would need to do something wrong in order for your phone to get infected, right? But what if I was to tell you that there is a form of malware, spyware actually, that can infect your phone and you don't need to do anything at all. You don't need to download anything, install anything, click on any link. You don't need to respond to any text message. You don't need to do anything at all. And all the attackers need to do is to either send to your phone a text message or place a WhatsApp call, which you don't even have to answer and your phone will get infected with this spyware. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a joke. This is not an April Fool's prank. This is reality. I'm talking about the spyware called Pegasus. Now, Pegasus is designed by an Israeli-based cybersecurity company called the NSO Group. Now, speaking of Israel, usually when we talk of cyber warfare and the countries with the most powerful and best hackers, we typically would mention countries like you know Russia, the United States, China, North Korea, maybe India. But we never really seem to talk about Israel. I think moving forward, we need to start taking Israel very seriously because let's not forget, they were involved in the creation of Stuxnet as, as well, which was the very first uh, cyber weapon ever created. And now that they've created also the most powerful spyware ever, Israel are definitely big players uh, when it comes to cybersecurity in general. Now, you must be wondering what exactly is Pegasus, right? I mean, how does it actually infect your phone? It's not magic, right? It's not like Doctor Strange casting some sort of magical malware spell on your phone or anything like that. No, there has to be some sort of logic behind it, right? So, Pegasus has been designed to track down, identify, and take advantage of any zero-day vulnerabilities that might exist on your phone. Now, in case you don't know what a zero-day vulnerability is, it typically refers to vulnerabilities that exist either in your hardware or software, and the manufacturers are not aware of it. So basically, these are vulnerabilities that exist that no one knows about. But Pegasus has been designed to identify such vulnerabilities and take advantage of them. And like I said earlier, all the attackers need to do is to place either a WhatsApp call to your phone or send a text message. And that's all that is needed for Pegasus to take control over your phone. Now, you must be thinking, okay, what are the capabilities of Pegasus? Well, it's the typical spyware toolkit of functionalities like it can turn on your camera and record you without you knowing. It can download all your text messages, all your contacts, and of course, also record all your phone conversations. So basically, is designed to spy on you and track down everything you're doing with your mobile device. Now, why did Pegasus make the news? Like, to be honest, this actually came out last year. Pegasus was, was discovered last year. I only just found out about it, so my apologies, but in the world of cybersecurity, things happen so fast and I somehow missed this. But it turns out that last year, Amnesty International, the human rights group, they shared with about 17 news organizations the list of over 50,000 phone numbers that had been infected with Pegasus. Now, among these 50,000 phone numbers included those of 10 prime ministers, three presidents, and even a king. Now, obviously, when you have such influential and powerful people involved in a scandal, it's definitely gonna make the news. Now, the NSO group have defended Pegasus by claiming that they never intended for it to be uh, misused or abused, that it was meant for law enforcement, for tracking down terrorists, you know, things like that. But of course, we all know fully well that software as powerful as Pegasus can always be abused. Now, speaking of abuse, there are two confirmed customers of Pegasus, customers that have actually purchased Pegasus, and that would be, unsurprisingly, the CIA and the FBI. Now, the CIA and the FBI have claimed that, hey, they never actually used Pegasus in any of their own investigations. They never used it for invading people's uh, privacy. They only purchased Pegasus to keep abreast of emerging technologies 
But we all know that you will have to be incredibly naive to believe anything the FBI, FBI or CIA will tell you, especially when it comes to matters of uh, privacy abuse and cybersecurity in general. Now, what has been the aftermath of this huge scandal? Well, the US government have claimed that they've cut off all ties with the NSO group, but we can't really believe them because the US government can claim that they've done one thing while behind the scenes, they're doing the exact opposite. Uh, the French president Emmanuel Macron had to change his phone number because his one uh, old phone number was among those listed in the original 50,000 uh, contacts that was listed among those infected with Pegasus. Uh, Apple also sued Pegasus as well. The, the EU the European, uh, Union also condemned uh, the NSO group. Now, Israel also created some sort of commission to investigate the NSO group and things like that, but nothing has really panned out from all these investigations and lawsuits, and the news has kind of died down uh, surrounding Pegasus. But the mere fact that this technology exists is really, really scary. Now, in conclusion, you must be thinking, all right, how can you tell if your phone has been uh, corrupted with Pegasus? Now, Amnesty International actually released uh, an open source utility called MVT, the Mobile Verification Toolkit, that can actually detect traces of Pegasus on your phone. But the truth is, unless you're some form of an activist or a politician or someone with huge political influence, it's highly unlikely that your phone will be infected with Pegasus. But nevertheless, I guess uh, you can go wrong by just trying to confirm that indeed your phone doesn't have any Pegasus uh, spyware on it. So that's it for today's video. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. Do comment what do you think about Pegasus and the NSO group. Uh, do share the video with anyone who may feel my benefit from the video. And if you're new here, my name is Alex. I make videos on cybersecurity. So if you enjoyed videos like this, do please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. It's been a pleasure. Stay safe out there and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.